Okay, so uh, so uh, we have like a short time, so I guess we just started. Uh, so hi everyone, I'm Rico Lim, I'm uh, HePTL. Um, Zen here is also previous HePTL and he's uh, a very senior uh, HIT core and also a TC member now. Um, so this session is about heat project update, what we do in uh, in last cycle, what we plan to do next, and uh, what we might help to, for you guys to uh, to uh, understand the the project. Um, so, what is heat? Uh, you might already see this, like, and the uh, the adoption is for like a long while, taking long while ago. Uh, I believe we we got like better adoption nowadays. Uh, whatever you're using, you're using Sahara, then you're using heat. You're using Magna, you're using heat. You're using uh, Tarkar, you're using heat. So we are behind everywhere, haha. <laughs> and, <laughs> sorry. Um, it's, uh, so we got the documents and, and, the, uh, and for, for the general heat uh, information and the document for our release now, we're trying to up to date with all what we, uh, what we think the user need to know, we're trying to update with uh, our release now. So if you have any like uh, thing you want to see about what we've been doing, you can also check the release note as well. And today's slide will be uh, will be on the, uh, I, I think the OpenStake Foundation will release the slide. Uh, so you can read it. And first of all, thanks for everyone who helped to commit and who helped to, who helped to review and who helped whatever, like sending emails, who uh, giving their feedbacks. Uh, we got uh, user feedback as well. Uh, so thanks, thanks for everyone. Uh, and if your name is still on, not on top of it, uh, it's fine. But you already get a sticker, so that means you have to do it now. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we, we need more help. Uh, Sorry, I uh, I will share the link out uh, maybe later, but <laughs> yeah, it's hyperlink. Uh, but we need help. Like what I mean, we need help. We need people uh, help us to review. We need people to help us to commit, and we need more core reviewers. So if anyone interesting in uh, provide developer operator into a uh, heat project, uh, we are welcome everyone. We have onboarding session uh, tomorrow. So if you're interested in HEAT, you please join us. We also got the uh, uh, cross-project uh, forum with sending about auto-scheduling tomorrow as well. So uh, if you feel interesting, you can join us. So uh, the, let's talk about the Rocky feature. So we have like a new feature, mostly about like a new property, like a, uh, property for the Zoom uh, container for the neutron subnet. We have the different properties about like uh, neutron subnet. So the uh, the segment ID becomes updatable, and also the uh, new attributes which uh, you might want to use. We have some uh, attribute improvement for the uh, basically networking in heat. I mean, we have other bug improvements for for the neutron uh, resource as well, which it's because a lot of user are using uh, neutron uh, in heat, but they want to be more flexible uh, to uh, have the re relationship with other neutron re uh, resources. And uh, we have a new resource type called uh, always heat delayed. Uh, we, we usually have a, a, a resource called te uh, test resource. That test resource is capable to uh, to uh, uh, to feedback to feed in some property. I'm mean, sorry, parameters and and allow to delay uh, your your process uh, during the entire create or update process. Like for example, you want to uh, you want to create an instance and delay like waiting for a while and then create other stuff. Then now you can use in the always uh, he delay resource uh, which implement by Zen and it is uh, it uh, it will allow you to like uh, have a, a time uh, time uh, freezen for your whole entire process uh, it, it also lets you have a random delay which is something you couldn't do with the yeah a, a random delay in, in some cases will help 
And uh, for the uh, stack API support for uh, feature template on Swift container, which we have also shared that on the uh, uh, user feedback uh, session earlier, is so you usually capable to to uh, to provide your template and those files that you need to put into the heat uh, directly in your local file, or you provide the URL entirely URL, which must be accessible. Uh, accessible. But uh, now you can using uh, directly using Swift as a backend. So you provide the entire container information, Swift container information to Heat, and then Heat will, will load those files in that container. So you don't have to provide other uh, file information anymore. You just give the information in Swift, we will, we will go load it and create your stack for you. And for Rocky feature, the uh, first that we move to the storyboard, so uh, don't find the launchpad anymore, trying to find us in the storyboard, which is more usable and is more friendly, user friendly. So uh, just just go there and you will find it like uh, more easy for you to, to type in your uh, your story, your your bug, and your your blueprints, and and another to declare that heat is capable to do the federation identity. We usually there is there is some time that we we clear ourselves that incapable to uh, to to integrate it with uh, Keystone Federation uh, identity federation, but it turns turns out that we actually capable. Uh, and which we uh, we have some core to uh, to actually verify it and it seems working. So let's say now we we actually for I I I assume for a long time we're actually capable to do federation with heat. Um, since Pike, okay, since Pike then, um, and uh, the, uh, the no one of the known issue is the key pair resource. So it's basically is about all the uh, user domain resource. When you have like user domain, like uh, like a key pair is specifically created and allowed to access just by the user. So let's get a scenario when you have a user create a key pair, and that that you also create a Nova instance in your stack. Now you're using another user. That key pair will not be accessible by the second user but he allowed to access the stack, which make no sense. Uh, so we put it on, on the known issue now, but uh, it's like you either maybe work around and create the same key pair in for your sec second user, or uh, we might be able to help you with our one of our, our, one of our uh, feature called uh, uh, Observe the Reality, which uh, you can check that out in Heat. It basically help you to Recreate a key pair if you don't have it. So uh, other things that we we since Cellmeter client is removed, and so we remove the Cellmeter client plugin, and so some of the resource is hidden because there's a new resource comes out and is more reasonable to use. So make sure you're aware of that of it, and for the new things that we have something in progress, like. Uh, we have like a multi cloud support. Uh, it's, it, the patch is still, it, uh, sorry, the patch is already there. So if you're interested, I'd like to check out the patch. Um, I'm, so I'm going, I, I will spend uh, a little time right after the session. I will create a short link for you guys right away. So <laughs> sorry about the hyperlink thing. And to, uh, we have a lot of validate improvements. And we have like a new resource like uh, like Blazor resource, Vitrage also, uh, the Vitrage team also have ideas to have Vitrage resource in heat. So which we, we still on the plan with Vitrage team together, but the, uh, the sound of the, imp uh, the imp implementations are already there in the heat. And the Starling X project uh, is very friendly trying to more get more integrated with OpenStack. So, uh, there's there's a guy from very nice guy from Starting X actually help us to to bring the, the the features in the Starting X the uh, 
the, the different uh, implementations, starting X and trying to merge that in the heat as well. So we got some uh, very interesting improvements. Uh, we also got some, uh, very, I still, I would say, very nice improvement from the triple routing, which is from, uh, from uh, uh, some of our Red Hat guys. And they actually help the uh, new heat service more solely than before. Like we fix a lot of bug. And so it's getting more and more stable nowadays. Um, and we got the like new resource in progress, like a new Chong L2 gateway resource. Um, that will be something that we are currently have patches and we're trying to keep keep push it. Um, on, for something that on the plan that will be uh, to like improve the auto scheduling and auto healing integration, which uh, in tomorrow we're going to have talk about the auto scheduling with sending thing as well. If you're interested, in join us. And we also thinking about the. Uh, to improve the documentations, which we are aware we have some documentation is kind of like out of date, and we got some very cool new feature. But it's like uh, we we trying to keep rethinking what we can help the user to to adopt our project and and make like uh, make it uh, uh, like uh, smoothly as possible. And for uh, we also trying to implement the uh, notifications. Uh, for when when you call when you're using the thermometer to to do the event uh, notifications or when you trying to using other like Monas card or 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 uh, tele any any project you're trying to have a, a no a, like a notification inside of heat uh, we have a lot of talk with uh, uh, with uh, some other project like uh, Monas card team like. Uh, 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 Octavia, uh, Octavia team about, for example, like auto scheduling, auto scheduling scenario. Uh, how, how is the auto scheduling work with uh, Monasca, with Thermometer, with other stuff? That so we we have some some talk in our uh, PDG, and you will see those log in our uh, PDG uh, Etherpad. So if you have the idea, or you if you are wondering what we are doing here uh, as a plan to do, that you can go to check our PDG support as well. That uh, that will bring you some uh, some of the uh, informations, more detailed information on the discussions, and something that we promise to keep working, but we stock it, we block it is the uh, etcd support, uh, which is. For internal heat service usage, uh, we think it might be it might be very useful to to uh, to bring some of our uh, lock management into ETCD management. But uh, we kind of lack of a lack of a resource right now. And so, if anyone interesting uh, bring their resource to us, like a developer, uh, user feedback, and and for. Uh, for any kind of resource that uh, if you're interested in on any kind of thing, you wish it to be uh, mission accomplished and uh, help us. And so how you get the feedback? So either you can join us on the IRC. Uh, we have calls in the across the global. So you're usually capable to find us. If not, then uh, you're trying to refine us <laughs> and, and, and keep trying and we, we definitely Get the responsible to to answer your questions or uh, or trying to solve the issues and and for uh, you can also document it down document it down like uh, at the we have this etherpad so uh, we make sure that your use case is getting noticed or you can try to uh, uh, s trying to find uh, our forum etherpad that for earlier the uh, heat user uh, feedback if you have anything about heat. Or bad, uh, or a crazy ideas, just tell us. Uh, we are more than welcome for everyone to to help us to improve it. And you can file a story in the storyboard, or and anywhere you can find, uh, uh, or you can gra just grab the uh, Zen here and just he he's you know he's friendly, so buy him a beer and he will solve your question. He will solve your problems, and so. 
so let's that's like uh, basically the same uh, information but uh, we need more reviewers uh, we need people to help us to if you have issues put it on the storyboard uh, we have a release note out like we frequently update it and so yeah I, I think that and we have meeting weekly like uh, even if it's not weekly uh, we we definitely going to have some guy there at the meeting time so it, you can you can see like uh, office hour you can just jump in you, can, you actually can jump in to find us like anytime you want uh, we're trying to we were trying to uh, make it uh, more comfortable for you so uh, I guess that's all I'm going to share here and uh, so any so we have, we got two other sessions uh, tomorrow and that's Oh, I want to share. So, any questions? Yes. Please use the microphone, please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just a standard OpenStack Heat user, and I have a question. Or, let's say, um, you mentioned about uh, placing the heat templates in a Swift bucket. That's mm -hmm. a great feature, actually. Just wanted to know: is it uh, project scoped, or is it once I placed? Uh, Templates there that are available, available to all users in OpenStack. You want to answer it? I'm creating the link. So. It, it's project scopes. Yeah. So yeah, the normal access control on the Swift container applies. So. Um, he, he will access the Swift container using the user credentials that you supply when you create the stack. Um, it's the same as everything else that he talks to, so, yeah. Any questions? Can you give me uh, some more details about multi-cloud support in your office? So the question is more details about multi-cloud support. And by the um, way, that, that is the, uh, the shielding for, for this entire presentation, so. Yeah. Do you want to take multi-cloud support, Rico, since you're writing it, or do you want me to do it? Uh, yeah, you can do it. <laughs> okay, so um, if, if you're familiar with the multi-region stacks that we have now, so you create an OS heat stack resource and you can specify a, a remote region, uh, it's that, but you, you can also specify another cloud. Um, and to do that, to authenticate to the remote cloud, you'll put your credentials into Barbican. Uh, and give Heat the ID of the Barbican secret, um, and it will go retrieve the secret from Barbican, log into the other cloud, and create this remote stack in the remote cloud. That, that was kind of the, um, the existence of Barbican was kind of the thing that prevented us from doing multi-cloud for a long time, because we always had that idea in mind, but we didn't know where the user could put their secret, and we didn't want it in heat. So Barbican is a safe place to store that, so that's, that's where we're doing it, so that's how it works. Anyway? Okay, so, uh, so, so I guess that's it, and this all the, for the project presentation. We will be here uh, tomorrow as well, and we have sessions tomorrow. So if you got more, like you want to share, you want to know more detail, or you want to share anything with us, or you have any crazy idea, or you happen to know where is have the good beers or good something, and please come to us. We we are friendly. Uh, so thanks everyone. Thanks everybody. <laughs> Good job, Rachel.